and be hard to beat. Gay Dreaming at $12 into nine. Gee, I can entertain the 12 or $9. I assessed him as around a $6 chance in this race, so um, happy to play with him if he has a bit of luck today. I think he's got a definite chance in the race. Moving in, let's go up to Brendan. So longer on $2 to three. The Princeling, $2.60 to $3. Flawlessly, six fifty back to six. Optical Illusion, easing out to $9, but longer on. He's the favourite. The blinker's going on him today. The move coming for flawlessly. Six fifty back to five dollars. Luke Nolan McKent teaming up here with the debutante. Longer on moves in in those bright orange colours. Flawlessly moved in. The princeling. Very nicely bred horse. Is three dollars ten, but the money continues to come for flawlessly six fifty into four dollars forty now. So a good go. And optical illusion will complete the line. Once again, fourteen hundred and twenty four meters for the third. And they're ready. Stand by for a start. Signal. And they're racing. X-Speed broke well on the inside along with Pleasant Harmony and they pushed to a clear early lead on settling down. Witchy Witch longer on and Delta Whiskey pushed forward and the Princeling is going to settle down in a midfield position as they run into the first turn. X-Speed comes out of that corner on top, led out by a length and three quarters in second placing Pleasant Harmony, a length Delta Whiskey third but covering ground. One away from the fence, Witchy Witch, the Princeling creeps through on the inside. Longer on is caught deep but has cover. He's just a little inclined to over race and getting the head up, go dreaming in the centre. Next to the inside, the well tried flawlessly. It's four from the back, trailed in turn by Pakinski. Second last on the inside, Roman Dave and Optical Illusion starts a run from the rear. X-Speed the leader along the side of the track. Leads Pleasant Harmony by three parts of a length at the 600 metres. Delta Whiskey third. Fourth the inside, the Princeling. Witchy Witch between horses. Longer on deep out on the track from Optical Illusion. Then Parkinski. Flawlessly just starting to be niggled at back on the inside. Not improving much for the time being, but there's a big run coming through on the fence for it. Next was Going Dreaming and Roman Dave last into the straight. Hugging the corner flawlessly. Longer on out deep on the track, ranged up. Longer on went to the lead from flawlessly. Parkinski. Next of all was XP down the outside. Optical Illusion. It's longer on in front. Dashed a couple clear. Has it in his keeping and he's drawing away. Longer on will go on and score from flawlessly. Longer on first, flawlessly second. Third across the line was the Princeling. Fourth Delta Whiskey from XP. Optical Illusion was next, followed over by Pleasant Harmony. Deeper out was Parkinski. Uh, just behind those Roman Dave, back down towards the inside was Witchy Witch Grope and uh, Go Dreaming. And uh, they're amongst the last in. Well, that certainly looked the right race for him today. He was away from the fence, but that was no problem. Plenty of galloping room. He let rip the uh, horse staying towards the inside, tried really hard flawlessly, saved a lot of ground, but was under pressure coming around the bend and was able to save that much ground. It went through and probably hit the lead at one stage, but right down the outside comes Longer Ron, takes the lead. Uh, flawlessly, number 11's run second. Just disregard that Delta Whiskey uh, that's been posted there for second. That's incorrect. It's 4.11 and 9. 4.11 and 9, flawlessly on the fence. Doing a pretty good job really just how far infinitive that ground is to the uh, the horses out wider on the track well only time will tell but that seems to be the the general consensus as we mentioned where the winner came and probably back inside of him a couple of horses is where the action will be today in this early part of the card longer on races away a dollar 70 flawlessly and the princeling at one dollar and fifty cents but a, a good performance turned in by the winner longer on uh, he went through the magic million sales hawks team got him there for eighty five thousand dollars and he found the right maiden today and he's been able to storm clear and win and win quite well okay so uh, the winner's about to uh, return and i've got to be honest uh, I probably probably knew it was a good thing when I saw Wayne Hawks make the trip from Bendigo yesterday all the way to sail today. I don't think you've ever driven as far in all your life or worked as hard, have you? Just a long way from Bendigo to sail, that's for sure. I said I've used about three tanks of juice, but uh, did you like the new Packenham track on the way through? I actually, uh, we all we all had to drive past it, and uh, hell of a lot of roadworks going, construction going on inside, but. Uh, I don't know if I'll be uh, frequenting Tynong too, too long. I'm not that sure whether I'll be going down there much, but um, 
we haven't had a new track in Victoria f since, uh, since I think it was Sandown, about 1966. So, you know, some people are for it, some people are against it, but it's going forward and it's going to happen. So uh, hopefully they make a really good success of it. Well, it's a great setup for horses out there, Wayne. Like you can imagine having a stable out there. They're going to have stables on track, the whole box and dice. I'll be at Flemington, mate. That's where I'm happy to be. Oh, you what royalist. You, you elitist. No, I'm not at all. What are you, you, you bait me to say something, but uh, we won't be giving up our boxes at Flemington or Rose Hill in the short term. This was the right race for him today, and being a bit wide was no problem. And I think you would have come here expecting if he didn't win today, you'd be disappointed. Well, you told me before the race, if he couldn't win, we'd leave him here, quote unquote. That gave you a bit more confidence because you know your form. But uh, yeah, he should have won it. Uh, probably should have won it Geelong the other day. So it was uh, everything worked out right? But you know, when you he was caught three deep and he ended up with cover. You know, like as I said to Steve, if you drew barrier three, I'll tell you he just. Well, he should just win, but when you draw on 10, well, he was he, he did get caught three deep, but he was just lucky enough to get a bit of cover and might be better down the outside than what it is down the inside too, so it all worked out uh, quite well. What's the future hold for him, this preparation, Wayne? What sort of heights can he climb, do you think? No, no, we're just taking him back to city class now, and, uh, you know, he's done a good job in the bush. As I said, he should have won the other day, and he won today, so we'll just keep putting him through his grades, and um, he's going somewhere. Yeah, you like them in the city, not as far to travel. Good talking to you, mate. See you next year. <laughs> Steve Baster joins us. Steve, uh, pretty easy stuff there. What, Wayne coming to sale, I doubt it. <laughs> you didn't drive him, did you? <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, yeah, a nice win. The horse won really well and uh, did everything right. He's going to be a nice horse. Uh, getting away from the fence and travelling, as long as you're comfortable, there's no problem here today doing that, is there? No, well, I was 3D with cover the whole way, but uh, I didn't really want to go that wide in the straight, but they sort of pushed me out there and I was full of running, so I didn't think they were going to get anywhere near me. That horse on the fence uh, stole a lot of ground, railed hard. Did it hit the front by mu much? I never saw it, so it mustn't have got in front of me. <laughs> it mustn't have got anywhere near me, I'd say, but uh, just looking at the track, it does look soft right on the fence. And always good to ride for the Hawks family? Yeah, yeah they've been good to me over the years. I've ridden lots of winners for them, so uh, it's good to get another winner for them. Nice to see you back on the winners list, Steve. Thanks, sir. There he is, Stevie Baster winning the third race on the card with Longer Run, and uh, that was all too easy. Let's hope that's the way the, uh, the setup is for the rest of the day. As we go to a break on TVN's coverage of Race Day Live, we're back with the Big O in just a moment.